Joining us now is Ryan Payne, Payne Capital Management President. All right, Ryan, welcome to the show. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Stuart. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a, any end to the volatility. I don't know about going down, but volatility, I think, stays for a while. And you say what? Um, it could. It could very well. I and mean, if you look back to the last time we had a correction, it was really between 2015 and 2016. You had a whole year where the market was sideways with volatility. So that's very, very possible here. Okay. Um, but, but I don't have a crystal but, but so far, I mean, like today, for example, it's been right. volatility on the upside. Uh, I mean, we're going higher at this point. That's right. You're pretty bullish on the market overall, aren't you? Oh, I think we're one of the greatest global expansions of all time. I mean, nothing's really changed if you look at it. Uh, GDP growth is going up. You mentioned maybe 4% this year, which is very possible. Yep. Global markets are growing at about 4% a year. And valuations around the world are cheap. So you just have dynamics right now. Some of the best I've ever, ever seen since I've been in the business. So uh, look, look at a camera and address our viewers. <laughs> pick one. That one's yours. Okay? <laughs> now you tell our viewers, with your bullish scenario in mind, what would you tell them to do right now with the Dow at 24.4? Well, first off, if you have cash, this is your gift from the gods to buy. We haven't had many corrections in this market. Use it to your benefit. If you're already in the market, put your hands under your legs. <laughs> Do not press the sell button. <laughs> be patient. Um, you know, we're in a long, long-term global expansion here. You just have to be patient. Now, you think that you mentioned that, look, some stocks have been beaten down to the point where they are bargains. They're cheap, as, you, as the expression. Can you give me a couple of names? Do you do, you do that in your company? Um, I mean, if I look at it again, I love the global markets here. So anything globally positioned right now, really? anything. So hold on yeah. a mutual fund that buys into overseas stock markets, you favor that? Well, look at it this way right now. Right? There's going to be a billion smartphones bought this year, and 70% of those are going to be in India and China. Uh, you know, and those markets, on a relative basis, are much cheaper. You know, anywhere, I think, buying a diversified portfolio there is a better option than just picking individual stocks. Uh, but if you're going to buy value stocks, I think some of your stalwarts, like your Verizons, um, you know, anything that's, uh, you know, is some sort of staple, I think right now is a good buy as well. Okay. But diversity right now is the way to win. Okay, I've got to ask you about Bitcoin. I don't know whether you're a Bitcoin kind of guy or not. Are you? Uh, I mean, it's just not usable. That's the problem, right? I mean, there's a lot of hype around it. So you wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole? That's a pretty accurate assessment. <laughs> there you go. Right, yeah. Let's cut right to it, shall we? Yeah. Well, this is your first time on the show sitting next to me. Did you enjoy it? It's been an honor, story. Oh. I hope we get oh. to do it again. Oh. Oh. He comes back. He comes back. Oh. Thank you very much, Ryan. Good stuff. Thank so, you. Thank you.